A band composed of people that were never professional to begin with. They barely knew how to play anything, but they were perfectionists and pushed through, and I think that's beautiful. Thanks to all this not knowledge, they found very quickly that playing something wrong and ruining beats that could have been very popular was the way to get recognized as an intellectual band and to gain a cult following by stealing from the Beatles. The nice Beach Boys How can anyone forget that time when the band was struggling constantly because they had so many ideas, they just had to add them in one song, with tons of sections and like 8 melodies deep playing at the same time? Well, there was one song that was actually like 247 songs in one. This song is called The Battle of Eddie Forest. And oh god, it was a battle, right? Even though Selling England is considered by the pro crowd a total masterpiece, I'm pretty sure that the big majority of those people can even begin to comprehend what actually happens in this song. They just haven't been even forested yet, you know? It's a state of being, the one where you don't need the mixing to tell you what instrument you should be listening to. It's the song that trains you to listen to Tony Banks' solo career. On another note, we have Keep It Dark. A prime example of a band that both knows what it's doing and also not at all. Because they make every section of the song start at disjointed times, but at the same time the separate parts aren't that special. If they knew what they were doing, we could get a discipline situation here. Can you tell I'm a proc head by saying this? Well, you can tell me by the way I walk. Lastly, we have the most boring song ever released that song called Bathroom Break. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just being mean, you know, sorry. Here it is. A very weird Phil Collins song called Hold On My Heart. And what makes it weird? Well, for one, it wasn't made by Phil, and two, it doesn't have a chorus or it's all chorus. It lasts three minutes, but feels like 10. It's weird, man. Even weirder is that I do this all the time. I always make people feel like I talk to them all day about Genesis, and that's wrong. I should change the length, make the talk be more... Small talk. <laughs> 